You may not want him. You may not need him. But he's back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Uh, we're back. Officer Martin is back on the job, ready to um, terror, uh, no, protect the public, and uh, we're, we're going to see what we can do here. So uh, with the new update that came out about a week or so ago, we actually unlocked a brand new area. I had to do a little bit of grinding off screen to be able to unlock it, but I'm excited to be here. This is the new downtown district and i believe we've got four new neighborhoods we're going to start off with this first one right here which is called jefferson it's going to be in the evening we're going to be on car patrol and um lots of new opportunities and situations await us here in this new neighborhood we're going to have a new patrol vehicle we're going to be able to get eventually new uh you know equipment new call outs new new activities all kinds of stuff like that so it should be a great time let's uh let's get it man working downtown working the beat it's uh it's not going to be easy but i'm looking forward to it and uh hopefully we're going to be able to keep these downtown streets safe so let's uh just go ahead and hop into our patrol vehicle off the bat here looks like we don't have the new suv yet but that's okay we'll get there eventually let's go ahead and turn our headlights on head on out and see what we've got going on so speeders i guess that's not going to open for us speeders are going to be our uh, our main concern i actually already i see a ticket we can we can write here so let me get out of the car and go take care of this uh speeders are going to be the bonuses that we get for this shift to be honest i don't i don't really like getting speeders so we're, we're probably not going to pay too much attention to that but i will get you if you've got a broken windshield and you're parking on the sidewalk Ooh, handle a robbery crime scene. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Here we go. Let's let's get it. I believe I believe we can turn these on and, and go in a situation like this. When it's a, a red, maybe we don't need the sirens. I'm driving too fast. Okay. Well, we're we're gonna be fine. I think if we turn the lights on and the sirens on, if it's a red situation, you can you can run to it without any issues. We had a couple of issues there. Somebody took my baguettes. Who steals baguettes? Are we serious right now? You you aren't related to this situation. Let, who 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 took the baguettes? You're lucky because I even know who it was. He knows who it was. Okay, you got a, a full description for me. I have enough to start a search, but I can interview the reigning witnesses for more details. Let's make sure Isabella Brown. I don't want to take too long here. She's in a black suit. I want to make sure everyone's story corroborates with each other's. Make sure it all lines up. Hair color. Okay, beautiful. Let's see if you've got anything else for me. Okay. Isabella Brown in the black suit. She's got glasses. This might be her right here. Did you, do you happen to have any bread on you, ma'am? Sure, officer. Here you go. She seems nice, but she almost had like a little bit of a, a nervousness. Isabella Brown. Okay. She does not have a gun permit. Let me go ahead and give this back. She has dilated pupils. What you been doing? Aggravated assault crime scene. Um... Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, detain you. I'm gonna try to get to that crime scene. Uh, let me let me let me do a full search. But I think I think we may have just accidentally canceled the the thing that we were on. We talked to. Oh, ma'am, stop, ma'am, stop. No, stop right now. Stop right now. Give me my my stun gun, ma'am. You better you better go go. What? Why aren't you walking? Okay, ma'am, stop! A little bit out of range there. We're, we're gonna chase her down. Uh, at 1042 station, I, I've, I've, I've got a, a woman's fleeing with a, a, a pocket full of baguettes. Ma'am, stop right now! Stop resisting! Okay, all right. Well, let me, let me handcuff you for uh, crime scene. For oh shoot, we, we, we messed it all up. We messed it all up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a full search. She's, she's definitely got bread on her, but because we accepted the aggravated assault, it should let you stack them up and let you do multiple. She's got a hand handgun, stolen bag, and a switchblade. All right, I'm gonna handcuff her for illegal possession of a weapon carrying a gun without a permit. Homegirl came in, stole the baguettes, and got caught with the heater. What an idiot. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and call an arrest transport. I got to get out of here. We got aggravated assault. I got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got 65 points for that. 65 shift points. Love to see that. Unfortunately, we might be a little bit late to this aggravated assault crime scene, but hopefully we're going to be able to make it there in time. Your boy is quick and efficient. So we got to be careful about that. I mean, technically, we were still able to finish it, even though it wasn't an active, you know, scene for us, an active challenge or whatever you want to call it. All right. So I think one, two... 
I think because it's red, I can throw the cherries and berries on. I can go through all kinds of stuff. As long as we're responding to a red call, then we're going to be good. Okay. Gonna have to make use of the handbrake if we're going around corners like that, but we're gonna be fine. Handbrake is spacebar, I believe. I'm, I'm not ex exactly sure. So, the baguette thief has been handled. Now we've got aggravated assault, and we're running out of time to get there, but we might be able to get there. I love it, dude. We're killing it right now. Okay. We made it turn it off so they don't know we're, you know, too close, and let's, let's get in here. Where did this take place? Inside here? Where's it at? Oh my goodness. We've got three people in, in dire situations. All right, I'm going to call an ambulance for all three of these. Going to take care of the injured persons first. Let's go ahead and do that. Do this. And then get an ambulance over here for this lady as well. Let me talk to this guy. Hmm. That was the last witness. The person description is insufficient for starting a search. Okay. It's fine. You're free to go. I wonder if it was the, the Brighton Burger Basher. You guys know he's still at large from a couple episodes ago, so that could potentially be an issue. We do have an aggravated assaulter on the loose. This is not good. All right. We're just going to have to keep our eyes peeled and on the lookout. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and write some tickets for cars parked on the, the sidewalk. Over here, guys. Come on now. Come on. We got it. We got an, a, a dire situation. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. He's got a legal tent. All right. Y'all can, can handle him, right? I'm gonna go get the guy with the illegal tent. Obviously, that is a much more important situation. Let me go see if we can do this. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Don't run anybody over. Let's go. We can't speed. Let's not speed here. Where's the guy with the tent? Ooh, I see two people with tent. Let me let me go ahead and, and squeeze right in here. There's another one over there that we could get as well. Oh, well, that is an, an accident. I saw you first. You're lucky, Mr. Brown Truck. That brown and green looks absolutely hideous, by the way. I should probably pull you over to start. Come on. Get over to the side, man. We've also got somebody over on the corner that we could potentially go hit with the tow truck. I think he's looking for a parking spot, but we've got a red light, so we've just got to obey the, the traffic laws. I mean, you definitely could have, you know, pulled over right here, but it's okay. I really want to, oh, we got our blinker on. My bad. I really want to get out and give a ticket for that yellow car there. Pull the heck over, please. You going to stop right there? Why do I feel like if I get out of my car, you're going to take off? I'm going to go ahead and pull in front of you. Please step out of the vehicle. Just kidding. You're good. Shoot. I'm not going to be able to talk to him. Okay. Sometimes it's a little bit awkward. We got to let him go. Go ahead, sir. You're just not going to go now. You scared? So you're, you're not going to let me talk to you at the window, but you're also not going to move. Well, I'm at least going to go call a tow truck here. If he moves... If he moved as soon as we went and gave that ticket, I was going to be really upset. Come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit here and wait. I'm going to wait you out. It's a game of who's more, who's more patient. And trust me, I got all day, Bubba. I'm going to try to bait him out here. going to try to bait him out. Getting out of the way of traffic. I'm going to go write a ticket to this cab who's up on the sidewalk right here. Come on, man. You're a cab. You should know better than this. You should be a better driver than this. we got a white SUV back behind there, too. We've got something going on with the ambulance. I'm not even going to ask questions. Let's just write our tickets and leave. Downtown really popping off, huh? All right. Well, this guy is is has absolutely lost his marbles, bro. His pants are brown. That that front seat is going to need a, a deep detail because apparently he's terrified of, of getting pulled over. He's just going to stay there. I guess he does actually have uh, more patience than we do. I'm going to go ahead and pull up here. We're going to get this guy with a nice little tow truck. Should be easy. Major accident. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Here we go. One and two. Get our lights, cherries, berries, sirens on. We can speed. There's somebody with an illegal modification. I kind of like those purple lights though, so we're going to leave it. We're actually doing a pretty good job today with our conduct points. We definitely could have whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. Definitely could have evaded. I'm going to give y'all tickets for not not yielding to an emergency vehicle. What is this? Thank you. Holy cow. Bunch of idiots out here. But yeah, we've done a pretty good job. Those two tickets we got for the, or the, the, the two that we lost for, for running through the red light were not good, but everything else has been on the up and up. Not gonna lie. It's, no! Okay. I was just gonna talk about how it's it's not easy to uh, to drive fast in this game, and it makes me a little bit nervous. We're we're good. Next, a little sore. We're gonna be fine. Just just maybe 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 slow it slow it down a little bit, Trev. Gonna come on around here. Oh my goodness, dude, this was way back in the boonies. He just totally swerved at us. Why is it? It's taking us the most. <laughs> Who put this on the GPS? What kind of a GPS is this? I want ways. Get out of my way. I, I got a major accident to get to. Dude, there are so many cars parked on the side of the streets. Downtown is just lit. This is insane. Don't run over the pedestrian, please, Trev. Look at that. Another taxi on the thing. Apparently, I need to make my own routes because there's no way it should have taken us this long. Okay, what do we have going on here? Arrived at the 
the call out location we've got a, a lot happening he's not involved let me go ahead and and get our camera out we're gonna start taking some photos okay there are no photos to take interesting i don't know why what happened here ma'am i'm still recovering from the crash my mind is blank okay id and proof of insurance please keep an eye on you looking to see what your pupils are doing you got red eyes avery howard Looks like her expiration is, is looking good. Avery Howard, four-door car, 3IS570. Expiration's good on this as well. Okay, we can give that back. She has white powder under her nose. Let me just go ahead and give you a drug test really quick, ma'am. Not a big deal. She is under the influence of amphetamines. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go ahead and cuff you for driving under the influence of amphetamines. Go ahead and take a step over there. I'm gonna go talk to this other gentleman and uh, I'll, I'll be back with you in a moment. How you, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, gentle, gentle ma'am is what I meant. This is a pretty heavy crash. There's, there's a lot of damage on that taxi. Take a look at the ID here. Make sure the photo matches. Make sure the names match. Layla Gray, 2021. Layla Gray pickup. She has, has, it's expired and it's wrong. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give her a couple of, of tests here. So her, her insurance is, is faulty. It's fake. I, can you get... Can you get handcuffed for that? She's not under the influence of alcohol. Let me let me check. She's into any other fun, harder things here. Nope, she's she's clean as a whistle, but she's interesting. Um, let me see the options for handcuffing. Missing driver's license, faked uh, fake ID, fake insurance. I'm gonna say it's. I, I mean, it's it's definitely not a pickup. I'm gonna say fake insurance. We haven't had this one. Got your ass. All right. Well, let me, uh, while we're at it, let me just go ahead and I'm going to go through and search all of these vehicles. I do wish this part was a little bit better. Unfortunately, we got a smartphone there. Unfortunately, you have to go through, you have to do all four doors and you have to do the back door of the car. I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but oftentimes, ooh, a handgun and a wallet. Holy cow, bro. She's, she's strapped in the back seat, huh? I don't remember if she had a gun permit or not. She's got a switchblade in the trunk. Oh, she, she was bad news bears this is unfortunate too because she wasn't under the influence of anything like there's really th this is happens she's got a, a knife on that side this is happenstance somebody just happened to be you know sniffing some 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 white powder and and ooh, switch blades stilettos pocket balls bro she is a savage let me call a tow truck on that i'm gonna come over to the cab here let's go ahead and search this vehicle we're gonna have to search the persons and then we're gonna be able to call this a day I don't know why we should, no items could be found. Let me see before the tow truck comes. I still can't take any photos of any damage. Oh, there it is. Okay. It wasn't letting us do that before, but it's letting us now. So that's good. Take a photo of that. Nothing to see back here. We got smoke coming from it. There it is. All right. Able to get some photos. That's going to help us out big time. We're good to go there. Let's check all four doors of the cab. And then we're going to be able to check the uh, the actual people calling an arrest. And uh, we'll see what we can do. I honestly, I, I think I might, I'm, I'm going to skip searching the rest of the cars. There's a lighter in there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just not even worried about it. Let me, let me go ahead and call a tow truck on this cab as well. I just don't want uh, I was worried they ran there for a second. I just don't. I, 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 I want to try to get one more job before the day's over. I don't want our shift to end on this. On this, you know, accident here. She's got two switchblades on her. All right. Yep. Homegirl had a gun and like five knives. Just outrageous. I would. I would venture to say we may have have handled this this perfectly. Let me do a full search on her. Please tell me we find some coke. No. But she was under the influence of it, though. So we're going to call in the arrest transport. I was hoping she was going to have some on her person. We could make the charges stick a little bit better. If she's got a good lawyer, she's probably going to get out of this. But uh, that's, uh, that's okay. Man, my goodness. The city's not going to be happy with us today and the amount of damage we've done to this car. But uh, hey, it's it's all right. Okay, we're going to get out of here. Let's, uh, as soon as we leave the scene, uh, I'm thinking about, I mean, let me go this way. I'm not, I'm not trying to wait anymore. I'm just going to pop a quick Yui. Ooh, we could we could hurry up and go run and, and tow this car real quick. Let's go. Ma'am, 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 caught in the act. 
Hell nah. Issue a violation. Jaywalking for walking right in front of me. Get out of here. No, come on. That's that's not gonna fly. Don't be an idiot. Well, I didn't expect you to be so stupid. She looks really sad. She should be. I'd be sad if I was that stupid too. All right, let me let me go ahead and, and call a tow truck here. This looks. I was gonna say it looks like it could potentially be some sort of a car dealership or something, but we're we're good. Let's roll out and see if we can go find something else interesting happening around town. We got a, a hundred and eighty-two shift points for that accident and we didn't have any negative conduct points. I would venture to say your boy is actually gra- Oh, here it is. Car in front was able to find a proper parking spot. I'm not gonna lie, brother. I, I like the tents. I like the setup here. Let me go ahead and stop you. I don't want you to stop too, too prematurely because I was in your way. The tents match. It looks a lot better than most of the other vehicles that have been out here today, but um, let me let me just have a, a talk to you here. Detain the car for underglow lights. So what? People like me drive in style. It looks amazing. I can't argue with you, man. You do look pretty good. Let me see your, your ID and insurance, please. Just want to make sure everything else is good. I'm going to let you off with a warning because nobody needs a ticket for being fresh to death. You know what I mean? All right, Levi Davis, but he doesn't have insurance, does he? He's constantly shaking. Okay. Well, um, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please. You, sir, have a, uh, a right to remain silent. Yes, you are being detained. Um... I think that's that's grounds for searching the vehicle, isn't it? Fake insurance. I'm gonna go ahead and, and run some some tests on him here. Let's try alcohol, let's try drugs, and then I'm, I'm sure something's gonna come up here. It's got to. 0. 0.000 BAC, all right, he, he passes that. He tried drug test. See what we've got going on here. He could just have the shakes. This could all be a mistake. No THC, no amp. Interesting. I mean, the, the thing is, well, I guess he doesn't have fake insurance. He's just missing insurance. So I'm going to say for the driver, no valid insurance. I've got to give him a ticket for that. You can't drive around with no insurance. I really wanted to be the nice guy and let him go for the, the, the lights. You're ruining my day. I'm not trying to do that, sir. I could give you a, a ticket for this, but I'm going to give you a warning. I'm a fair guy. He was sad, now he's happy, gave him the bad news first, the good news second. Plus 40 for the traffic stop. And we've got a, a little taxi over here we're going to be able to take on. Dude, this has been the most consistent, the best. I, I, I killed it today. I, I genuinely killed it. Don't get hit crossing the road, Trevor. Oh my goodness. This this was such a successful shift. I, 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 can't even, I can't even begin to explain how happy I'm that, that that worked out the way it did. That was insane. Job well done. Give yourself a, a pat on the back, T. Martin. Shoot, we're going to have to drive home the old and slow way. Looks like we've got a couple more options here for, uh, for tickets. We've got a guy on the sidewalk and backwards. We've got a guy where he shouldn't be this is great we're just gonna rack up all the points so he's on on the sidewalk and the wrong direction and we've got another car on the sidewalk over here bro this this is by far our best day ever and honestly there were a couple little things where we lost points i i, I think one of the biggest things was we accidentally turned off our lights when i didn't mean to and that that would have saved us from sp some speeding conduct point loss crashing the car is 100 percent on me we shouldn't have done that, but uh, apart from that, this was a wildly, wildly successful day. Oh, can't turn left there. This is a one-way street. Okay. So yeah, this, oh, well, okay. Don't, don't, don't lose it on the way back, Trev. Honestly, it might be in your best interest to just walk back. If you want me to be completely real, we got a one-way street here. Where's our closest station? It's going to be the 290. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm walking back. I feel like there's there's more harm that we're going to be doing by, by you know, driving back than just by, by running back. So let's head back to the station and see how we did. We've even got a guy that's a little bit too far into the street and facing the wrong way right across the street from the police station, dude. This, this was literally the perfect episode. It feels so good to actually be getting it right. You know what I mean? Like, I, we, we've had a lot of episodes where, like, we do some stuff right, and then we mess up other stuff. I don't even think we're getting points for that anymore. I think we're a little bit too late past our shift. But seriously, that was fantastic. Wish we could have had more call-outs, you know, more wanted people or something like that. But that, I mean, you cannot complain about a day like that. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. By far our best episode yet in a new location, in a new part of town that we weren't really really sure what to expect. Downtown's fun. Downtown's crazy. So let's see where we lost here. The biggest losers were traffic violations. Like I said, some of those could have been fixed. Ooh, we unlocked the patrol car for this district. Select a patrol car shift to drive it. Gladiator 6. We're going to be checking that out in the next episode. Also unlocked the Callahan financial sector. Uh-oh. The big wigs going to have lots of, of executives doing naughty stuff out there. It's going to be great. 
we also had some accidents. Without those, we would have had the perfect day. My goodness, I love it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna be taking on a brand new area, the financial sector, hopefully gonna be using the brand new car as well. And um, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.